the government's announced big, bold reform programs for vocational education and training in New Zealand. I want to start by acknowledging the amazing people that we've got working in vocational education right now. They are doing some fantastic things. They're passionate, committed, uh, and really uh, doing the best thing for New Zealand. I know the system is not making that easy for them at the moment. There's been huge uncertainty. The sector, particularly around polytechnics, has been constantly restructured in recent years, uh, leading to all sorts of disruption, all sorts of uncertainty, and we want to really bring that to an end. The system is very fragile as it stands at the moment, and we want to give everybody who's working and learning in vocational education the certainty that they really deserve. So by consolidating our institutions into a much more robust national network, we think we can give that certainty. We think that we can direct more resources into the things that people are passionate about, teaching and learning. That's why people are in the education sector in the first place. Um, we know that change is disruptive and we know that change leads to more uncertainty. That's nothing new to people who are working in politics. You've had that for a long time and we know that this is going to mean that continues for a little bit longer. It's going to continue for a little bit longer regardless of what we do. Um, actually, um, if not doing anything would probably lead to more uncertainty and more instability. So we're committed to really doing it once and doing it right and I know that we'll have support from that. I know that there's also some uncertainty for those working in industry training as well. Of course, we're going to want more people working uh, to coordinate on-job training and to provide better support for people who are doing on-job training. And there are some real opportunities to do a much better job of that. Um, there are some things uh, being said at the moment that aren't true and that don't reflect the proposals that the government's put out there. So I'd really encourage you to have a look at what we're actually proposing rather than what other people are saying about what we're proposing and make sure that you have your say on that. We've got a consultation period underway and it's really important that people have their voices heard in that. The final thing that I do want to say though is that any change can be unsettling um, and people as they go into that will be wondering what's going to happen to me. I want to provide an absolute reassurance to everybody working in vocational education that the government is committed to a just transition. We want to provide opportunities for anybody who's affected to reskill and retrain themselves so that they can move into new roles. That's actually what these changes are all about. It's about recognising that work is constantly changing for everybody and we've got to have a system that's much better at giving people opportunities to retrain and re-equip for different jobs uh, as needs change. And you know, the, those working in the polytech sector and the ITO sector at the moment are going to be facing some of that. We want to support them through that process so that they can then support other people through that process. So um, I think there's been a lot of goodwill towards the proposals announced so far. There's a lot of water to flow under the bridge yet. There's a lot of discussion to be had. So I'm really looking forward to engaging with people and I really encourage all of you uh, to, to get informed about what we're proposing and have your voice heard.